All right, so great news for us uh, Xbox One users. Uh, Plex has released an app for Xbox One. Uh, if you're not familiar with Plex, it's a media center app that allows you to connect up your uh, video library uh, and stream that across multiple devices. Uh, so in order to do this, you would typically go to the App Store and download this as of right now. Oh, there we go. And it's now available in the App Store. Previously, you had to go to the search apps to get it. Uh, but this will allow you to download uh, movies that you might have downloaded or that you've recorded or home movies or photos uh, and stream them to your Xbox One. Uh, so if I plug into the Plex app, should mention that you are going to need to be a Plex Pass holder currently. They've talked about doing a free option for a few people. So here is uh, recently added movies here that we can go to. And expand on this <clears throat> and drill in. So here is a handful of recently added movies that I put into my collection. Um, I've got another uh, section here for Howard, for Howard recordings, Howard Stern recordings, uh, as well as TV shows. So here is, I can just browse videos. So here are all of the videos that I've got, or a lot of the videos that I've got in my media library. So, most recently released, uh, I can go under Browse <clears throat> and search through all of the videos that are on here. Uh, I can jump to a letter. So, come in here if I want to look for, I don't know, maybe L for Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's going to come in here and there we go. There's voice commands in this. I'm not quite sure how to get those to work. I'll have to read up more on this. But So, here I can come into this and... What it's going to do is it's going to pull up your videos. So this is pulling my uh, my Xbox is set up in my basement and my media server is up in the living room here. So <clears throat> here's some more options. So here I can find more movies by Peter Jackson, more with Andy Serkis, Bill Lloyd, blah, 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 blah. Any related movies. Uh, can play and it's going to actually go into starting up the movie. So this is awesome. This is actually an MKV file. You can uh, change the settings of how you want this to stream as well. Uh, I'm not going to go into actually showing the movie here, but you'll see here down at the bottom. Uh, let me move my camera down just a little bit. Is uh, tell you what format it's in. So 1080p, Dolby Digital 5.1. Not sure what this does. Oh, sorry. This is the watched or unwatched icon here. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is a great app. Super excited about this. Uh, this brings a whole new level of fun to the Xbox One. Uh, if you're big into movies and shows like I am, this is going to be huge to be able to come in here and uh, filter by movies. Oh, look at this. It's doing it. Top crime movies, uh, movies by Matthew Vaughn. So it's, it's reading my library, getting some data, and grouping these together. Uh, so here's, you know, bad neighbors. I could pick off watching this where I left off, etc. Uh, so this is this is awesome. Very very excited about this app. Been waiting a while since, you know, since Xbox One was released. This is the one app that I've been waiting on seeing. So this is a, a great change of pace for me here, and uh, very excited. D highly recommend it. Uh, should mention you are going to need to be a Plex a, a Plex Pass member to use this right now. I believe it's $5 a month or $80 for the year or $150 uh, for lifetime service. Uh, I'm sure they'll be offering some deals up here on these passes maybe in a month or so, maybe around Black Friday. But yeah, so this is Plex Pass, uh, or this is Plex on Xbox One. Highly recommend it if you want to watch your videos, stream your movies, and I should also mention if you're a Plex Pass member, you can also stream these to your iPad, iPhone, uh, laptops, etc., even when you're traveling. So this would be uh, really cool. All right. Hey, thanks again, guys. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.